You doing there? You ready to go? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> you had an opening statement, you said? I do, yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, first of all, uh, welcome here, and I want to thank uh, Beth and her team at the region and, uh, and uh, uh, the the partners, uh, the partnership that was responsible for for this amazing facility uh, for uh, hosting a, a bit of a tour. And uh, this is a this is a remarkable facility. We should all be very very proud of it. Uh, uh, the the uh, the level of care that's going to be offered here is going to be second to none. Uh, and I'm encouraged because, of course, the, the design for, for this building that we're, we're met in this morning very much came from, uh, well, it came from frontline staff, it came from family, uh, it came from professionals, uh, it came from healthcare managers. Uh, there was a, a real cooperative effort to try to get this right. And if you, if you uh, look at all of the homes that are here in all the different facilities, they've truly tried to make this a home more, less institutional than any institution I've ever been in. In fact, other than the hallways, uh, there's not much that's institutional about it in terms of how it feels. So we should be proud that uh, our seniors and others that need long-term care will have a place like this. And I understand that we're going to be moving in, 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 uh, in early June is when the movement begins. I just want to also say this. This is a, a P3 project. And of course, P3 construction has been the subject of some debate. It even was during the election campaign. Our opponents said that they would go away from this kind of an approach to construction, for example. I can tell you uh, this uh, project is on time and on budget, and when, it, when I say on budget, it, I, I, I'm referencing the fact that we're going to save, by doing a P3 approach to this, we'll save the taxpayers about $16 million. Uh, the other thing, the other advantage we have with the P3 uh, project is, uh, is that when there's local buy-in required, and there's a 20% local buy-in required for municipalities, it gives them a longer period of time to come up with a significant amount. I just want to thank everyone that's been involved to get this project to where it is. and. Uh, looking forward to the day when, uh, I think I said it'll be early in September when, or sometime in September when everyone on the web have been uh, moved into their own home and um, this is a great day for Swift Current. Love that it's right by the school. I hope there's a real integration with the uh, with the school. I hope those kids come over often and, and uh, we know that there's a real great salutary impact on young people in terms of long-term care residents. And so the location here is very fortuitous. Of course the tunnel to the hospital which is something that had been envisioned and I'd kind of lost track of until I was reminded of it today, but consider how much easier it'll be to, to move residents uh, if they need to be moved to the hospital or to make sure docs and other healthcare uh, professionals can, can access the building and, uh, and do so in a way that's quick uh, and warm in January. Uh, so this is a great facility and I'm so proud of, uh, of all of those people who are responsible for it.